It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. We're gonna fight, 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 fight for women's rights. It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. We're gonna fight, 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 fight for women's rights. Welcome to the Fight for Women's Rights Battle Against Patriarchy featuring me, T. Erica a New Orleans-based author, women's rights activist, and the creator of the NOLA Vibes blog and web series. In addition to my work as a social influencer, over the past 10 years, I've created many support programs for women, including the Free Lawn Care for Single Women in New Orleans program, where I go out and mow lawns myself. Candyman Services, a New Orleans-based companion service for women providing reliable men on demand, and several books that aim to help couples create relationships that empower women. I've also given away thousands of dollars in grants to women who need a boost self-funded by my work as a waitress. I aim to create world peace through advocating for women while improving mental health for all. Today, I will fight against the enemy of our social progress, master patriarchy. If I can defeat him, then I know that as a society, we can. Hello and welcome to the fight for women's rights battle against patriarchy. I am T. Erica, your host, and I'll be facilitating an awesome night of entertainment, women's rights issues, and ultimately a fight against master patriarchy. I hope you're excited. So it's 2022. Why are we still fighting for women's rights? Women are human just like men are. Didn't they get the memo? Wait a minute. Maybe it was an email. Maybe it went to spam. Maybe it was delivered during the Sunday brunch during the Super Bowl. Regardless, the men didn't get it. So here we are. Today is a very important day. It's the anniversary of the Roe versus Wade decision. And guess what? In just a few short months, that decision is set to be overturned. That's right. We're losing our right and dominion over our own bodies. There's a group of legislators who are making decisions for us as though we are not intelligent, to decide, to intelligent enough to decide for ourselves. We are. In addition to fighting for the right to have dominion over our bodies, there are so many women around the world who are experiencing sexual violence against the hands of a man. There's so much violence against women right now. Why? Because men do not view us as equals. They don't want to support, protect, and love us. Instead, they prey upon us. And it's so very sad because the same woman that they came from, they're now abusing. We want the right to end sexual violence. There are also a lot of people in the world who have been subject to child marriages. Just because you don't see it on your block doesn't mean it's, it's not happening. All around the world, children, young ladies who are in their teenagers or teenage years or even earlier are being forced to wed, to marry, to have children in, at the hands of what we call tradition. That's not right. That's not consent. They're not old enough to make an informed decision for themselves, yet they're being allowed or they're being forced to carry on the responsibilities of a married woman when they have not elected to. There's also a shaky, crazy tradition called female genital mutilation. If you don't know what that is, that's where they cut off the part of a woman's body that allows her to experience pleasure during sex. Why would they do that? Why would that be a tradition? The type of tra tradition that women are so used to in these other parts of the world that they also pass the tradition down to their daughters. They were abused and, and, and attacked 
and they are allowing the same for their children out of tradition's sake. Why can't we experience pleasure during sex? Because men want us to believe that our bodies are just a tool for their pleasure. It's not. We also have experienced so many strides in, in, in business and in, in the workplace. Uh, women are now entrepreneurs. Women are now career women. Women are now going out and making a great life for themselves and being able to sustain themselves and their families. However, in the corporate environment, there's still a wage gap. There's still a pay gap. Men can get the same job that a woman will get and they will be paid more. Why? Well, back in the day, men were deemed to be the providers of the family. So I guess people thought, well, well, you know what? They need to earn more. Women are just being frivolous with their money. But today, no more. Today, women are deciding that they don't want to have children. They don't want to be married. Or they might be more intelligent or more driven than the man that they're with. So they are the providers and the, and the wage earners in their families. Yet we still do not earn equal pay. <laughs> We're still fighting for that right. Another women's issue that we want to be free from that will help every woman feel safer in the world is to be free from unwanted sexual advances. You know, we are not just eye candy. Some of us can be cute and we enjoy it. However, it doesn't mean you have the right to place your lust and your desires onto us and exhibit them to us when we didn't ask for it and we didn't give permission. A quick tip to all men out there. It is not a compliment to, to speak and make a comment about a woman's body parts if she has never invited you to touch them. That's not a compliment to, com to, to make a remark about her breast or her butt. Make a comment about her intellect. Make a comment about her ability to manage her household. Make a comment about the things that she's proud of, her education. Commenting on a woman's body parts and she's never allowed you to touch them is sexual assault. Because we don't want that. We don't want unwanted sexual advances. We also would love the opportunity and the right to be as brilliant and respected as we can be. So many times we've been told to sit down, shut up, you can't. That it stifles us. It not only stifles us, it stifles the progress of our society. When women are told to be quiet and sit down, guess what? Half of the ideas that could have pushed your company for it, that could have pushed humanity for it, are now left off of the table. We're hurting ourselves. Damn, patriarchy. Why would you do this to our society? Patriarchy hurts our society. It hurts both men and, both, and women. And we're not even recognizing it because we're so used to going along with tradition. Well, how do we fight for women's rights? Yes, we do need to battle against patriarchy. Yes, we do need to speak out. The basic thing that you can do to fight for women's rights is to speak up. To speak up. If you see something that is unfair, if you feel uncomfortable in this world, if you see someone who is not being treated respectfully and fairly, say something about it. The more people who decide to speak up about it, the less those who are in those decision-making um, positions will feel comfortable with denying rights and benefits to simple things that men have been enjoying for centuries. So yes, this is a fight for women's rights and I'm here to facilitate it and to shape things up and to help you to see that unless we end patriarchy, unless we get this, this idea off the table that men are natural leaders and leaders by default, we will never progress as a society. Do you want to experience world peace? You're probably thinking, that can't happen. Not in my lifetime. But plenty of change has happened in other people's lifetimes. And in this lifetime, the one I'm in, I want to incite this type of change. We can have world peace. If enough of us get together and decide that we want to be a peaceful society. And how can we initiate a peaceful society? Well, I have a plan for that. And it starts with getting rid of gender roles and stereotypes so that mentally we can all be free. Gender roles and stereotypes force us into a box that 
forces us to align ourselves with roles that we never agreed to. And they may not even be representative of the best of our personalities. All men are not leaders. All men don't want to be leaders. Some men would love to relax into the arms of a strong and capable woman. Some men will thrive more by supporting an awesome woman that they trust. Some women have natural abilities to make decisions for others and to, and to pave the way. Some women don't want to be married. Some women don't want to have children. Some men don't want to be, feel like they have to be the strong, um, the strong one, the, the, the one who's aggressive all of the time. But because we have these gender role stereotypes in play all the time, we're frustrated on the inside. We're sad, we're sick. We're waking up in the morning having to convince ourselves to go about our day because we have to wear this mask that society tells us to wear. I recognize it, you recognize it, but no one's speaking about it. We have to end gender roles and gender stereotypes and become a one human race, one, just one, so that the best of the best can rise to the top in leadership and everyone else who wants to support and know that that's their mission in life is to be a supportive, supportive person to the leadership can thrive as well. We all have our roles to play. And if we end gender roles and stereotypes, we can definitely relax mentally and not have to lash out because we're not able to be who we are. We can be ourselves and we can relax in our minds and that will eliminate so much abuse from our society from people who are frustrated because they can't be who they want to be. There's so much more that we can do, you know, to help this world turn into a place that is beneficial for all, to see strides in our humanity's progress that we've never seen before. But it starts today. You have to make the decision to support the end of patriarchy. And I'm here to tell you all the reasons why you should do it. <laughs> But I'll be right back just after this with more entertainment and women's rights issues that you should be aware of. The Fight for Women's Rights, Battle Against Patriarchy is sponsored by Planned Parenthood, Care No Matter What, and the Big Easy Roller Girls, a women's roller derby team in New Orleans. Strong women support women. Women's rights statistics. One in three women around the world experience violence. Around 650 million women across the globe were married before the age of 18. Over 200 million women and girls in 30 countries have undergone female genital mutilation. 71% of all human trafficking involves women and girls, mainly for sexual exploitation. Over 2.7 billion women don't have the same work opportunities as men, with laws restricting the types of jobs they can do. In 2018, the estimated global gender pay gap was 22%, with women earning around 78% of what men are paid. For more women's rights statistics, visit womankind.org.uk. Welcome back. I am T. Erica, the host of the Fight for Women's Rights Battle Against Patriarchy. And I'm here to entertain, inform, and delight you on women's rights issues. And I want to share with you who I really am. Every woman has a right to be herself. And in this society, it's difficult and it makes you crazy. They say I'm crazy. They say it all the time. There's not a place that I can go, not a person that I can meet that doesn't look at me like, what is wrong with you? There's a lot wrong with me. And there's a lot of right with me too. Number one, I can't cook. I don't clean. I ain't having nobody kids. I ain't thinking about getting married. I don't think about the typical things that are expected of us as women. But, you know, sometimes I still want to date. And when I do date, they say the same thing over and over again. You crazy. Well, you know, I own it. I live in it and I love it. And the last guy I dated told me I was crazy so much 
I just, you know what? I wrote a song about it. Because I said, once you leave me, you're going to miss me. Because I know you're going to miss my crazy. And for all the women out there who are like me, who go against the status quo, who don't get things the right way, just like society expects us to, guess what? <laughs> They're going to miss your crazy too. This is a side on exclusive. crazy people think I'm so crazy it's because of the trauma that has been introduced into my life by these gender stereotypes by patriarchy and by abuse what has happened when we are inundated with these ideals for who we should be we become angry on the inside we can't tell anybody we can't express we can't say I don't want to be a wife <laughs> we can't say I don't want to be work a job we can't say I don't want to um, contribute to society in the way you want me to. What we can do is just suppress it and then we explode on any and everybody that's around us. So all of that has come into my life. I met multiple people, multiple men who have come into my life and, and expressed their rage for the people who have abused them in the past and for their inability to be their true selves in life. And they rage on me. And what happens, I accept that energy or I take in that energy and I hold it in and I'm angry. So it's a cycle that perpetuates through our society. We're hurting each other because of these gender stereotypes, because of patriarchy, because we aren't free to be who we should be and who we want to be inside. We aren't free to explore and express ourselves. And I, and I accept that it's been my downfall in many occasions. But I think about it and I think about a future where I don't have this sadness and this rage inside me. And I ask myself and I ask people to give me a chance to learn how to love better. So that's why I wrote this song called Trust In Me Again, because I'm asking you to give me another chance at love. I 
I want you to Turn back time again No, not born in sin Feel the innocent Ha, ha You remember when smiles were genuine Life was limitless Go get em, Si Go get em Dreams were bigger than Peace was infinite Hugs were intimate Now I'm traumatized Victim of their loveless void It then took over my life I really want to turn back time again No, not born in sin Feel the innocent ha, ha. You remember when smiles were genuine Life was limitless Dreams were bigger than Peace was infinite Hugs were intimate My brain says they hate you My brain tells me the worst of things Can't tell when it's not true But just because my brain scrambled Don't mean my love's not real I know it's hard when I lash out I hate the pain you feel I really want to turn back time again No, not born in sin Hugs were into me So we can laugh again, we can love again, trust in me again. Please hold me close and forgive me for the trouble I caused to you. I'm trying my best to heal my soul. I want to be loved too. Turn back time again. No, not born in sin. Hugs were into me So not We can laugh again We can love again Trust in me again I'm the one, I'm the one I'm the love you've been waiting for I'm the truth, I'm the peace I'm the key you've been yearning for I'm the one <laughs> so I'm asking you, can you trust in me again? Can you give me another chance to love? I know I want one. I want to be loved too. So for my next song, I want to share with you this fire that I have inside me, this rage. I have to let it out because most people don't talk about it anymore. They say this is a 1960s, 1970s thing, but I honestly think that even today, because every day I wake up, I have the same thought. And I wish that we could let it go. I wish we can get rid of it. I wish it could be some way that we don't have to follow this one rule in society. I hate winning the world. You know, I really do. If you hate my bra, I hope you sing along with me. Take off your bra right now and let's just be free and just enjoy life. I don't want to wear a bra. This is a Sidon exclusive.
wanna burn my bra I really wanna take it off And throw it in the trash Now ladies, take a stand I really wanna burn my bra I really wanna take it off And throw it in the trash Now ladies, take a stand I don't like this On my boobies Hurts my back Makes me unhappy I feel like a bear in a trap And I hate this bra I just wanna be free I really wanna burn my bra I really wanna take it off And throw it in the trash Now ladies take a stand I really wanna burn my bra I really wanna take it off And throw it in the trash Now ladies take a stand I really wanna burn my bra I really wanna take it off And throw it in the trash Now ladies take a stand I really wanna burn my bra I really wanna take it off And throw it in Hello again, I'm T. Erica, and I'm here to encourage you that there are many ways to fight for women's rights. Our women supporting women honorees are just a few examples of the most effective ways to do so. Let me introduce you. Morgan and Courtney are the founders of ORCID, a menstrual tracking app that connects you with healthcare options if it detects that there are issues with your cycle. These ladies fight for women's rights by lobbying for the end of the tampon tax and creating technology that offers women a way to empower themselves by managing their own health. We've looked at the accessibility to menstrual health care, and we found that 73% of menstruators and women in America are looking for more affordable and easier access to health care. And so that kind of really kick-started what we call ORCID MD, which is that 24-7 doctor network. And so we just we're striving to make healthcare more accessible really for the average user. A lot of people, sorry, I feel like a lot of like women and menstruators don't know when they should reach out. I think for me personally, sometimes I'll convince myself like it's not that big of a deal or whatever. And so like with spotting, for, for example, some people don't know when that is a big deal and when it's not that big of a deal. So maybe you just had sex and now you're bleeding for days after, but it's not technically your period, you should be talking to a doctor. But from like lack of education, not everyone knows that you should be connecting with a doctor. So we really want this app to really help you seek when you need medical attention. The tampon tax varies by state, um, but essentially what it is, is the it's a product that is deemed non-essential. It's a luxury item. And because it's classified in that way, there is a state tax applied. So when you purchase your tampons, you have an additional tax that's layered upon that. And what it's doing is harming any individual's access to period products, like the affordability of that product. Um, and in some states where... I, I feel like my favorite example was like in some states, condoms are not taxed, but tampons and period products still are. And so the, it kind of comes down to a gender inequality, right? Like you can tax this female product because it's a female product, but like the other things are just 
fine to go. And so it's, it just, it creates an unnecessary barrier to basically like safe menstruating. The, there's a lot of arguments around why it exists essentially because it brings in a lot of revenue. Like I think millions, like 16 million, depending on the state and lawmakers haven't figured out depending on where they're at a, a plan that everyone's happy with. And I think what Morgan and I are disappointed in is that they, that this isn't a luxury item. It's a necessity. Like you are basically misunderstanding menstruation by taxing it and considering it a luxury product. Eileen is the author of In the Company of Men and a workplace consulting teaching companies how to create environments that empower women. But I think if we look at the unpaid labor that we require of women, both inside the workplace and outside the workplace, there's a severe imbalance, whether or not we're partnered. It happens, we are the ones that are asked to volunteer for special projects at work. I work a lot with the employee resource group leaders, particularly in the women's leadership group. So many of those roles, those people that are running those groups are unpaid labor. It's not part of their job responsibilities. It's not something that gets factored into their promotion and their bonus plans, and yet they do it. That's one example. We have to really look at who's doing work for what and how are we paying people to do the things that are really creating the change and advancing women in our organizations. Dara, a TEDx speaker, is the author of Someone You Know, teaching women how to stop being timid and speak up for themselves in business and in life. And what I want us to start remembering is listen to yourself, listen to the true voice that way down, you have to peel off the garbage, peel off the layers of what other people dumped on you. And when it comes to the core of it, you are worthy. Your voice matters. Your opinion matters. You have to start sharing it. And it doesn't mean you have to share it in an aggressive way to become a bully yourself, but you have a right to speak up. And I want every woman to really hear that. Nayela is a government policy advisor and political activist who recruits and encourages women to step into leadership in politics. Women's participation in politics um, affects not just the funding and not just um, the collaborative process of negotiating um, the budget and, and, and policies, but it also impacts the range of policy issues that are being discussed, as well as the types of solutions that are being proposed um, to address the issues, right? So when we're talking about, you know, how do more women in elected office impact policies, um, it's not just a, a, like a, a one-two punch answer. It's, it's this really complicated, beautiful, nuanced com- you know, a conversation in addressing the comprehensive impact that more women in elected office have. Um, because again, identities um, create lived experiences which impact um, politics, which have a direct, um, again, correlation in terms of an increase in policy making that emphasizes a quality of life issues. Um, and oftentimes policies that are more focused on families, um, uh, women and other marginalized communities, which has been proven that the more women there are in office, that those are the issues that tend to be focused on more. Whether you fight for women's rights by taking the advice of our Women Supporting Women honorees or create a way to fight on your own. As long as you take action, you are participating in making our world a better place. Thank you. So, today I'm here to share and release you and relieve you of the pressures of society. One of the ways I want to do that is to share some of my own personal opinions and thoughts and desires that 
many people may not be aware of as options for your life. <laughs> you know, as women, we've often be told, been told to act like a lady, to, to, to do the traditional thing. But sometimes our desires don't align with that. And we suppress them so that we can fit in and we can be accepted into our society. But guess what? I don't. <laughs> I don't. And I love to share all my fantasies, all my dreams that people tell me I am super crazy for. But that's okay. I'll be that. Because in being that, I'm free to be who I am. I'm living a free and feel this life. And it is so amazing. So let me share a couple poems that you might enjoy that share some of my wildest dreams. <laughs> The Alpha Chick by T. Erica. Hum diddy, hum diddy, can you see me? I'm not too hard to understand. I speak freely, give freely, openly, yet you speak in rhymes and rhythms when you can. I stand so proud and boldly proclaim, mm, I got my eye on you. What's happening? What's up? Patron in my cup. Come sit and have a drink with me, boo. See, I'm that bold ass chick who loves to be in control. You didn't choose me, I chose you. I'm driving, I'm paying. I know you're the man, but yet still, I'm the alpha chick too. Yeah, I know how to relax and stroke your um pride cause you got this shit on lock. But behind closed doors, you're my private Eminem. Bring that ass over here wearing nothing but socks. I wanna ride you, roll you, mold you, shape you, elevate you to where I know you can be. Don't be scared, it won't hurt. I'm in a thong and t-shirt. I purr and you smirk. Pop the back and we twerk. Come back to bed, you're late for work. Make it smile, make it jerk. Ow! And it's all because I love you. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> well, here's the next one. It's called Unmonogamous. They say I have a fear of commitment. But the truth is, I'm just not interested in that shit. Why do I have to search the world yearning for the one when there's a unique soul on every corner, fiending for a connection? My soul says be free, my heart says be me, yet society begs me to be like she. She who, upon graduation, degree in hand, exchanges one piece of paper for another, marching right down that aisle, liable, Binding her to be his for life? Wife? Why? Assuming a preconceived role from the man-made handbook of life, look, I can't fit in that box. I can't be contained. The idea of sitting in the house, changing my last name? I played house when I was a kid. I just can't do it, man. Let me be free. Let me be me. Let me enjoy the boys or the girls if I please. If monogamy is what you seek, I'm telling you clearly, you won't find that with me. Don't lock me up. Don't hold me down, don't hold me back, and don't tell me I'm wrong. But if you do, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear, I'll make you smile, and after a while, I'll say bye-bye, hop a flight, on to the next, cause she makes me feel nice. It's so many adventures to have in this life. Look, I'm too curious to be a wife, unless of course there exists a friend who loves me enough to understand that just because I love her and him doesn't negate our soul connection. My love is loyal yet infinite. It's not for sale, you can't own it. Let me be free, let me be me. And in the end, you'll have more of me. You can't own my love, you can't own my body. Help me celebrate life safely, in sincerity, and maybe I'll choose you consistently. In your presence, you have all of me. Let that be satisfying if you please, because nothing's guaranteed, yet everything is kosher. Eat what's on your plate, support and adore her. Let her walk away with a smile and a wink, and she'll be back again and again. Unmonogamous. Hello, I am T. Erica, and I am a proud supporter of Planned Parenthood.
Planned Parenthood has been a part of my life for more than 20 years. Yes, I am a digital content creator. I am a women's rights activist and author. And Planned Parenthood has been my go-to for support over the past two decades because I live an unconventional lifestyle. I've moved all around the country from city to city, trying to create something that works for me, trying to create a path for myself. And while I've been doing it, I've made reproductive health and my health a priority in my life. And I depend on Planned Parenthood to make sure I'm okay. And no matter what city that I went to, I could always count on going in and finding reliable health care. They're compassionate. They care about me. They're affordable. And I've always said to myself, if I ever got the chance to thank Planned Parenthood, I would, because my reproductive health is important to me. Being on birth control is important to me. A lot of people think that Planned Parenthood is just an abortion services center, but it's not. They take care of the woman and they make sure that she has all the opportunities and all the options to take control of her life. And that is important to me. I want to be able to say when and where I'm going to have a child if I want one. And they offer men and women the tools to be able to stand up and be responsible for our reproductive health and for our families, planning our families. And I'm so grateful that Planned Parenthood exists and that they are an option and the option that I choose for my health care. So thanks, Planned Parenthood. Thank you so much for being an advocate for me, and I will always be an advocate for you. If you're a powerful woman, you will love connecting with other powerful women who support women. Check out these four fun and powerful feminist Instagram accounts. Women's Rights News. Misrepresentation. Black Feminism. The LGBT Feminist. Representing the woman's point of view loud and proud in a society that tries to stifle us. Follow them. Invest in women. Our fight for women's rights begins with the right to speak up for ourselves. But there are women who want more. We want economic power, creative sustenance, and financial responsibility over our lives. Yes, we, the women entrepreneurs of the world, are starting our own business to secure our own lives. Women entrepreneurs help improve our society. According to whattobecome.com, in 2021, women own 31% of small businesses or franchises in the U.S. 17% of black women are in the process of starting or running new businesses. 14% of women-owned businesses employ between 11 and 50 or more workers. Women represent 50% of entrepreneurs in Latin America and the Caribbean. The European average of women entrepreneurs is 31%. And 67% of female entrepreneurs in South Africa create jobs within the first year of business life. When you support women entrepreneurs, you're reversing patriarchy with every dollar you spend. Women who can sustain themselves financially are more confident and less likely to remain in abusive relationships with fragile men. We need you to invest in the progress of women by supporting women entrepreneurs. Visit fightforwomensrights.org to offer a donation which funds grants for women entrepreneurs or open your wallet and spend your dollars with amazing entrepreneurs like Jade. Hello, my name is Jade. I am the owner and operator of Flick of the Wrist Exclusives. I customize and repair shoes. I'm considered a modern day cobbler and I also make and customize clothing. A little background information on myself, as transparent as can be, I came from selling and using drugs. At one point I ended up hitting rock bottom and was just bored playing around with the shoe one day. I customized the shoe and put it on social media and it blew up from there. And in the process of it, God allowed me to use that platform on social media to begin to tell my story of the things that happened to me when I was in the streets and I began to heal and my business began to grow. It has been such a journey. It's been amazing because prior to, I couldn't even draw anything besides my name, you know, and to be able to do some of the things that God has allowed me to do now, it's been miraculous. Thank you.
Women's economic progress is vital to the advancement of our society. Invest in women. And I'm back just to give you permission to live freely. I wanted to share with you that there are times in our lives where we're told that we are wrong on every account for everything that we are because society prescribes this certain standard to live by. And if you can't live up to them, you're the misfit. You're the woman that thinks out of the side of the box. You're the creative. You're the person that probably is going to help move our society forward. However, they stifle your ambition. They stifle your contribution by giving you these roles that you need to play. But you don't have to play them. Right now, I'm giving you permission to live freely. I'm giving you permission to say, I'm not sorry for being who I am. I'm not sorry for doing what I want. And I want to share these two songs with you that will help you to get towards your freedom. Today is a week, tomorrow curly, don't care what you like, don't matter to me. I'm not sorry, I do what I want, and I'm not sorry, I'm singing this song, and I'm not sorry because I'm wrong, 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 I do what I want. I'm not sorry, I do what I want, and I'm not sorry, I'm singing this up the phone, won't answer the door, if you haven't called, if you are in trouble, just call 911, cause I am tied up, my manager's done, let's move to LA, no place to stay, predicted my future, I make it anyway, having dreams, taking risks, and baby losing a lot, getting cozy at the bottom, I've been bruising a lot. Best friends with Morena, we've been cruising a lot. Big dreams come true, so I give it a shot. Love a queen and a king when they're sweet to me. Learn that winning and losing are the same damn thing. I'm not sorry, I do what I want. And I'm not sorry, I'm singing this song. And I'm not sorry because I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. I do what I want. I'm not sorry, I do what I want. And I'm not sorry, I'm singing this song. And I'm not sorry because I'm wrong, wrong, wrong. I do what I want. And you can do what you want to do too. <laughs> this next song is awesome because it reminded me that not only is who I am okay and acceptable, but it's actually the key and the secret to freedom. It's called free energy. Do you want some? Here you go. Don't you wish you were me? Don't you wish you had this cat? 
You know that you want it, but it's not sold in the stove. Want it, get it, need it, gotta knock up on my dough. Cash up me some more. I've been burning, cleaning, busting diamonds in the snow. Ready for the show. Use a silly hoe. Trying to knock my game off, but I'm still ready. Don't you wish you were me? Don't you wish you had this caramel skin? Don't you wish you had this thick full lips? Wow, free energy, free energy. Don't you wish you were me? Don't you wish that you were born this way? Don't you wish you didn't have to pay to play? Wow, free energy, free energy. Don't you wish you were me? Release the secrets of freedom. Release everything in you that yearns for acceptance. Release every desire to be right according to their standards. Release what they taught you was the truth. Release any decision that was made for you. Release. Life is not a test. It's your choice. Choose. Have you been searching for a reliable man? Need someone to take care of your household maintenance needs and offer you the TLC you've been craving? Don't worry, I got you. Legal and licensed in New Orleans, I have found the most reliable men in the city. A candy man will change your light bulb, help you pack up and move residences, put together your shelves, cook dinner, and give you a foot rub after he's done. Anything you need to feel supported as a woman, a candy man can. We offer reliable men on demand. Contact Candyman Services at CandymanServices.com. Change your life. Have you ever dated a man? You may be eligible for compensation. If you can't find a lawyer, consider changing the way you date. Establish a loving female-led relationship. Relationships that empower women. Because your needs matter. Visit LovingFLR.com to learn more. When you are ready to step out of the shadows and into the limelight, join the Rising Influencers Club. I teach women how to become social media influencers and earn income by being who they are. You are a star and you know it. Learn how to package yourself and shine right where you are. Join the club at TheRisingInfluencers.com. Come sit with us. While the voices of women are growing stronger, men report feeling powerless, confused, and afraid. This transition in power fueled by fear has created workplace tension that will negatively impact organizational cultures and productivity. We must support the mental health and safety of our workforce by providing men with a definitive standard of conduct to guide them in their interactions with women in the workplace. Men need clarity on connecting with their female colleagues without overstepping boundaries they habitually ignored. Men need explicit guidelines to measure their actions against, which will eliminate their fear of crossing into the danger zone with women and allow women to feel safe in the workplace. Men need to learn the new rules for engaging women at work. Setting firm standards for men's interactions with women in the workplace, the new rules for engaging women at work are the answer. Get your free download now at engagingwomenatwork.com.
well, as long as y'all here, y'all might as well stay. We can hang out a little bit. I mean, I ain't doing nothing. What you saying? I need to get dressed. What? You ain't dressed. I see you sitting over there on that couch. I ain't doing nothing but scrolling through Instagram just like I be doing. Child, I was on Instagram today <laughs> looking for people to unfollow. It was just one of them days. And I was like, God damn, what do I be doing on Instagram for real but objectifying men? The kind of accounts that I follow. <laughs> Damn, you fine. Black gay, sexy as fuck. <laughs> Smash her pants. I was like, somebody thirsty. Well, honestly, it's been a long time since I've been with a man. I mentioned before I'm not good at cooking, cleaning, or pretending like I care when I don't. I ain't good at that either. But I am good at one thing. Getting on a man's nerves. <laughs> yes, I am. The last guy I was sleeping with... <laughs> He used to say, this is not normal. And I was like, what? <laughs> what you talking about? And he was like, you are in a league all on your own. I was like, what shoes? I like to be the best at what I do, so I'm going to get on your damn nerves, honey. The thing about it is, I would love to meet a man with some sensitivity. But every time I meet one, he always looking for the same damn thing. Hmm. So the other day I was at Walmart. <laughs> And this man came up to me, oh, you are so beautiful. I looked at him, I had on a mask and a hoodie. And then I realized, you wearing leggings. That's what he's talking about. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. But child, please. <laughs> I said, what do you need? And he was just like, I would like your number. I would like to get to know you. I said, boy, I'm crazy. He said, you're not crazy. You're just pretending to be crazy. I was like, oh, that may be the truth. That may be the truth. And I looked him up and down. You know, because of the side effect, it's always what you really want. Because you can't force attraction. And I asked myself, do you want to get on his nerves? Nah, he's not the one. He's not the one. He's not the one you want to get on his nerves. The one you want to get on his nerves, you know. Because you're sitting right next to him, and you look over at him and smile, and you think to yourself, hmm, I'm going to ask him about 20 questions first thing in the morning to see what he got to say. And he's going to get mad, but... That's the one you pick. That's the one you pick. <laughs> I'm always on Instagram scrolling and loving these pictures of these sexy men that I ain't gonna never have. One time I chose one of them to be my internet boyfriend. I am boss. Damn, you fine. You gonna be my man? And he said, yeah. I was like, really? All right, then. Let me tell everybody, I'm gonna give you your new rules tomorrow. <laughs> Why rules always come with relationships? Women like, you gonna have to act like this and act like that. But that's a good thing. Because you need to tell the man what you want. You need to speak up for what you need, right? And see if they're going to give it to you. And if they ain't, then they're not the one, really. So one, thing, one guy I was telling you about, the one I was to sleep with, he used to complain so much <laughs> about me asking questions that one time I asked him, when can we set aside some time for me to ask you a few questions? And he said, Tierica, that's what the police say. I was like, oh, Lord, why? Well, I know it. I guess I can't do anything right, obviously, you know, including dancing. <laughs> but that don't stop me from doing it. In fact, nothing should stop you from doing something you like to do, not even if you have the skills or not. I don't have the skills to be the woman that's fighting against patriarchy. Oh, no, honey. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. Why? Because it needs to be done. And that's what leadership is. You see something that's wrong and you try to fix it without anybody asking you to do it or qualifying you to do it. And that's what I'm trying to do here today. I don't know if I'm going to win. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be a good fight. I don't know if I'm going to die. But root for me anyway. But right now, I'm going to dance. And I'm going to dance this type of dance where it's called burlesque. And burlesque dancing is that sexy striptease. I went to a burlesque show about a month ago and I was blown away. Those women, they had like acrobatic, you know, talents and things like that. And they were so sexy taking it all off. And I was like, I want to do that. So I came home to try to practice a little bit. And I was like, looking at myself like, you look like you kind of disabled. But that's okay. That's okay. Like I said earlier. Just because you're not qualified to do it doesn't mean you shouldn't try. You might surprise yourself. You might surprise yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and do my little homegirl burlesque dance. And I want you to join me. Or every time you think about it, when you're home and you're feeling some type of way, just stand in front of the mirror and do your little sexy dance because you're sexy if you feel sexy. Not because somebody else tells you you're sexy. 
And right now, even though y'all this fine, I'm still feeling good about who I am. So I'm gonna dance for y'all. Y'all ready? Uh -oh. How does patriarchy damage society? Patriarchy is a social system in which men hold primary power and predominate in roles of political leadership, moral authority, social privilege, and control of property. And how does this damage our society? The demands of patriarchy takes away everyone's ability to explore and accept their natural abilities and talents by forcing them to fulfill social roles that may not suit their highest potential. Patriarchy damages the progress of society by limiting the contributions of women. Women who could have created cures for illnesses, designed communities that support the advancement of families, contributed art or literature that inspires minds, or stepped up to create policies that bring peaceful resolutions to social issues have been held back, ultimately holding back our society's progress. Patriarchy creates mental health issues for everyone by pushing us to conquer or be conquered when our natural inclination is to love and support each other. The patriarchy causes us to fight a silent war within ourselves because we are not able to be who we are naturally designed to be. Every man is not skilled enough to be a leader and we are damaging them by requiring, requiring it of them. Every woman is not fulfilled by being secondary to the desires of men. Women have ideas and visions for our own lives and should be supported in creating them into our realities. We cannot play a role for our entire lives in order to please society without shrinking and crumbling inside, lashing out in pain and damaging those we encounter. Every abusive person has also been abused by someone who was angry about their own lack of personal power. We must regain our personal power by being free from patriarchal mandates. The patriarchy doesn't have to tumble overnight. 
There are covert ways to demolish the concept of patriarchy that we can implement right now. How do we erode the power of patriarchy? Decide that you are not obligated to pass along the man's last name when you have a child. The child does not only belong to the man by default. The woman has the choice to pass along her own last name or her first name as a surname. Or she can create a last name that signals the beginning of a new generation for her family, one that supports the improvement of our society outside of patriarchy. Every man must choose to protect women by not allowing women to navigate this world alone. See a woman, support a woman. Choose to be her advocate and protector by actively listening to her desires, protecting her interests, and promoting her right to be a strong voice in this world. Men can support the advancement of our society through ending patriarchy by pledging to stand with women openly by stepping aside and giving her the best seat at the table at home, and in the workplace. Women can support the advancement of our society by accepting that our social role is not mandatory and redefining what it means to be a woman for ourselves. Women can help demolish patriarchy by stepping up and taking the lead when possible. If there's a decision that needs to be made, choose. If a problem needs to be resolved, don't wait for the man. Do it yourself. If you're attracted to someone, speak up and tell them. Don't wait for them to make the first move. If you have a goal, don't ask for permission. Go after it by any means necessary. And finally, every woman can practice this leadership skill. Men love to joke that women never know what they want to eat. From now on, always know what you want to eat and tell them, hey, I know what I want. Women's rights are human rights. Be human. Be equal. End patriarchy. Advance society. All my life I had to fight. I had to fight my daddy. I had to fight my uncles. I had to fight my brothers. Girl, child ain't safe in a family man's. But I never thought I had to fight in my own house. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in history, we are about to witness the transition of our society. Tonight, we will watch the oppressor versus the savior in a fight for women's rights. Coming to the ring, the mercenary of mayhem, the deliverer of destruction, the one who comes to rob, kill, and destroy the progress of women, Master... Coming to the ring, the deliverer of justice, the torch bearer for equality, the woman who wants to see every woman prosper, Shia, the female warrior! We're ready for this bout. Master Patriarchy versus Shia, the female warrior. As we can see by this toe to toe. Master Patriarchy. He definitely has a height and reach advantage. But Shia comes out swinging. Body shots, head shots. Shia is showing everybody what women's rights are all about the patriarchy almost putting his hands up like he's had enough she 
Rights and lefts and rights and lefts. Master Patriarchy. And without that mask on, I mean, he's about, I would guess, 6'4". White male. She had been the uh, African-American princess, the African-American female queen. That is the end of the first round. If you look at both of these fighters, they kind of gave it all in the first round. We'll have to see how it comes out in the second round. I would definitely give that first round to Shia. Master Patriot, we are in the second round now. Shia again coming out swinging hard. I think Master Patriot, he might be rope a doping a little bit. He's, those blows look a little low. Oh, 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 Shia is taking some shots. She's fighting back though. I don't know about those, those blows are too low by Master Patriarchy. Oh, one to the head, one to the body. He's trying to fight back. Master Patriarchy, one big shot to the head. Shia is wobbly. I think a referee needs to step in on those low blows, perhaps. Shia goes down. A little bit of taunting there by Master Patriarchy. Not showing good sportsmanship here in this boxing match. That is the end of round two. That run I definitely would have to give to Master Patriarchy. If they had corners, I think she is corners. Got to be telling her to get back in there. Oh, she's already taking a beating early. I don't know if I like this by, by Master Patriarchy. He's just peppering her shots all over. I think some of those are low blows still. She had down once again. But right back up. She has given it all she's got. Whoa! Master Patriarchy again. He is dancing around like he owns the place. Shia up once again. She is getting battered once again by the Patriarchy. Down once again to Shia. I don't know if she's got enough to win this. But the Master Patriarchy with his hands up like he has won this fight. Shia has no quit in her. She is throwing everything she's got. Master Patriarchy. Master Patriarchy, we are going. No, no. Master Patriarchy has won this bout. Hell no. I question the uh, the ethics by Master Patriarchy. Those were some low blows, if you ask me. But he doesn't seem to care. Showing off to the fans, showing off to the crowd. She is still down on the can. Oh, she is. Is making her way up. Master Patriarchy dancing around. Thinking he's the greatest thing ever. Shia turns around. One big blow and Master Patriarchy is down. That is a win for women's rights everywhere. Shia, the female warrior. She might have not won the fight, but she won the war. We're gonna fight, fight. 